Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and there's another uh, interesting conversation going around on YouTube, on our little corner of BookTube, and the topic of conversation is, do we even need book critics? And this started by uh, Michael K. Vaughn with a video uh, of the same title, and he lays out an argument and talks about um, a few select books, uh, calls Steve Donahue out by name, and shows um, a book by, um, or the author's uh, Lovecraft, another Western writer, and then Stephen King, and presents this argument that these were um, popular authors who wrote popular books in their own right, and um, book critics had said these were not very good um, works of literature or good books to read, and they're so popular, they've lasted so long, and so uh, clearly the book critics are wrong, and now we have Amazon reviews and Goodread re reviews, uh, we have YouTube videos, and so do we really need these uh, snooty, snobby uh, book critics uh, hampering down our good time with the books that we already know that we love? And Steve made a response video. Jordan Parsons got in on the mix by uh, uh, taking it to an extreme and saying, well, do we even need books? Which I think melted Steve's brain. And I've been thinking about it for a while. Uh, Steve has been kind of getting uh, picked on in all of this, razzed. And not that Steve needs uh, anyone to come to his defense, let alone me. But um, he does enough of his own uh, razzing to all of us. So he can take it as much as he can give it. Uh, but there were a few critical um, parts of this conversation that I felt were um, uh, either underdeveloped or needed addressing. And so if I just start with uh, the subject of the, t of the conversation, do we even need book critics? And the fact that uh, we're saying whether or not we need them um, already comes off as unfair. Uh, we don't we don't need these things. Um, it's um, a, a cultural invention and a cultural benefit. We don't need uh, the Statue of David or Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. So um, right away we're already starting on uneven ground. It's much better to think about it as are book critics beneficial? And then who who benefits by this? And so the, the pronoun in the title, when we say, um, do we even need book critics? Um, I had to think to myself, who, who is the we in this scenario, in Michael's scenario? When you watch his video, um, you might think the we is um, already very um, experienced readers, people that have been reading for decades, uh, have a lot of books under their belt, uh, they know how they think, they know what they like. So it makes me feel like the we in this title is actually uh, Michael K. Vaughn, because uh, the thing that I kept thinking about throughout this, um, for the past couple days, is Unfortunately, it didn't seem like a, a rigorous argument was presented. Uh, instead, Michael holds up um, th three books or three authors and says, I like these books. Book critics, namely Steve Donahue, doesn't like Stephen King. And so Steve's wrong. I don't know if we need book critics. In the end, of course, he um, does say that we do, of course. But... Um, to have a discussion like that and to hold up three books, it does come off uh, either um, as if it's not a very rigorous argument uh, and almost almost um, disingenuous. It's not a very logical argument. Um, Stephen King is very popular. He's been around forever. Everybody likes him. And book critics have been critical of him. And so the book critics... Are wrong, and it does miss 
the point of what a book critic would be doing. Of course, a book critic isn't um, uh, sitting down with a new book trying to determine how popular it's going to be and how long it's going to be popular, if it's going to be um, a huge fan hit or a cultural phenomenon. Um, also, these books haven't been around very long. So S Stephen King has been writing for a few decades, but in 200 years, there's a chance that no one will have ever heard of Stephen King. That's um, been historically accurate. There's been huge, hugely popular authors in the past that just go away. Uh, Sir Walter Scott comes to mind. And so 200 years from now, if no one hears, uh, hears about or reads or talks about Stephen King, does that mean that now um, the book critics came out on top? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, John Donne is hardly read anymore. Um, so... Um, if book critics now say that John Donne is great, but he's not very well read, does that mean that the book critics are wrong? It's a silly, it's a silly, silly argument. Um, and when I think about what a, a book critic is trying to do and um, who they are addressing, so... Um, the, the we in that statement is really either uh, new, young, inexperienced readers, uh, people don't read very often, or people that um, uh, have a passing interest but find the book world very overwhelming. And I remember being young and going into a bookstore with no frame of reference and finding it... Um, overwhelming to the point where it's disorienting. You have, you have the new releases. You'll see 200 titles that you've never heard of, 200 authors that you've never heard of. Uh, you can go through the, the, the fiction section or any, any section of the book, and you, you don't know what's um, worth your time. And what a book critic is doing, in, in my mind, um, isn't just saying that this is a this is a an objectively good book. It's well constructed. It has good characters, good story. It has a satisfying ending. There's uh, emotional punch. The difference between um, um, reading books and television and um, movies is um, reading a book is a huge time investment. And for someone that doesn't read very much, um, it can be, it, it's a difficult leap to make that decision and buy that purchase, uh, make, make that purchase. Um, and if you sit down uh, with a newspaper or a magazine and you kind of gloss through it, uh, you're seeing a whole bunch of titles that you wouldn't have otherwise and you can get a sense of uh, something that you might be interested in. And if it is Stephen King, if there's a new book review by Stephen King, Stephen King doesn't need um, a book review saying whether or not the book is good. Uh, I imagine, um, other than hardcore fans, most people aren't completely up on when the new Stephen King book is going to come out. And so uh, if you see it, in the paper, it's a happy surprise whether or not the book uh, critic uh, raves or um, pans the book. Um, I think a much better way of um, getting a sense of um, what a book critic um, is trying to do and its function and how it benefits the reader is instead of thinking about uh, fiction, the, the new fiction that's coming out, or um, old classics, maybe a new translation of uh, drama by Sophocles. If we think about uh, nonfiction, so um, somebody is interested in um, Lincoln or the bombing of Pearl Harbor or a, a biography of Alexander the Great or the um, um, 
a history of the Reagan administration. Um, I find it hard to believe that someone would go to um, Amazon to read reviews or Goodreads or start watching YouTube videos um, to just get a general reader's idea that th this is a really good Alexander the Great book. Um, the great thing that book critics uh, can do, um, when I think about like the, the New York Times, the, the, the New York Review of Books or the London Review of Books, is unlike Steve, who is a, a professional um, a book critic who solely makes his living um, as a book critic, um, a lot of book critics are professors and scholars, experts in their field, and uh, the the London Review of Books will uh, have a new book, and it will be um, on Dante, and they'll find someone who um, is an expert on Dante, who's read all of the books, who's read Dante in the Italian, what whatever, and the the book review will tell you about Dante. It will tell you about. Um, his life and his work and give you a context of uh, what's going to be in the in the new release and you're reading something by someone who knows what they're talking about and can not only um, recommend or maybe not recommend but recommend the the book um, in question but also recommend all of those adjacent books uh, if you were still interested in it and so uh, there is a level of expertise that um, a book critic can offer. And um, just saying, well, now we have YouTube and people can talk, um, doesn't quite cut it in that scenario. Um, there's something kind of harmonious about reading um, a book review and then going off and reading a book. Um, if someone is not a big reader, not very experienced, um, starts looking around on YouTube or Amazon or Goodreads, uh, there's a much higher likelihood they'll just keep watching YouTube or scrolling through Amazon or go to another website. Um, that, that's an average person is, is doing that. A, a book critic is putting a whole selection of books in, in front of a reader who might not have even been looking for it, like thri fl uh, flipping through a magazine, co coming across um, some new releases or um, re-releases or new translations, and find themselves uh, just interested in something that just a moment ago they weren't and it could stick in their mind and it's a little germ or a little gem that can make a new reader a new uh, a new addition to the the readership of our time and it's incredible um, my little youtube channel the youtube channels on our corner of booktube um, are mostly satisfying uh, people that are already um, interested in books. Uh, I, I find it hard to believe that someone that's not interested in reading will ever come across my channel unless uh, they find a specific book that they're interested in uh, and most likely have already read and then go looking for um, justification want to hear why the book is interesting or um, they're in class and they want to hear other perspectives but as, as far as um, trying to help someone make the best use of their time with um, with a hobby or a type of entertainment that is hugely time-consuming um, overwhelming when you don't know what you're interested in or what to look for in the things that you are interested in, a, a book critic is just hugely beneficial to that person.
a, a book critic does has, the, the function of a book critic isn't to just satisfy um, preconceived notions of a fan of a book um, that can be a fun part it's not what they're doing so th those are some of my thoughts on um, what, what, what Steve was talking about, Michael K. Vaughn's original video, Jordan Parsons' video, um, is that it, it's an incredible benefit. Um, and all of us talking specifically have a lot of luxury that have luxuries that are not um, afforded to um, a brand new reader who knows who knows nothing. Um, I've read a lot. I have a lot of context um, for what what kinds of books that I like. I know what I'm looking for. I have Michael K. Vaughn to listen to and Jordan Par Parsons to watch. I'm friends with Steve, a book critic. I can email him and say I'm interested in something and get a personalized recommendation back. That is not normal, uh, it's not a typical reading experience. Most people don't have that. They have um, book critics, uh, book reviews um, that they might come across in a paper or look for. Uh, and it's a huge help. So good work, Steve. Uh, so let, let me know what you think. I'll leave links to all of these videos because um, um, I find it very thought-provoking, um, and um, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you would like, and take care.